What's going on everyone? KJ here. So after a little bit of delay here and there on many of the anime sites I use going back and forth and shit, finally we got the one hour special of Dragon Ball Super. Episode 109 will be this review and the next review will be episode 110. I didn't want to put him in one review because I, it, no, I, I, I can't. That's too much. I'm not gonna make a fucking 20, 20 minute video. No, we're not doing that. But what I will do, like I said, is split them up. I'm gonna be reasonable with y'all. You know, I mean, maybe, well, maybe more logical to do that. Um, that's, that's not, nah, come on. I'd rather have two separate videos and keep it organized. All right, so we're gonna get into my thoughts in episode 109 of Dragon Ball Super Part 1 of the one hour special, the ultimate enemy approaches Goku, now let loose the killer spirit bomb. So, um, link to the episode and the Dragon Ball Super Wikia are in the description below. And from now on, I will also be putting the Dragon Ball Super Discord, which was a Discord started by uh, a new friend of mine, uh, Anime Insight. He also has a YouTube channel, and I'm gonna link his channel in the description as well. Um, with the Discord, it's getting members, like, a lot, it's getting members here and there, and it's starting to grow as a community of Dragon Ball Super lovers, and we all can offer something different to the table. Some people do breakdowns, for example, Anime Insight, he does breakdowns, he does reviews, and lots of other Dragon Ball content in general, not just Super. So, pretty interesting to watch. Uh, but mainly Super, of course, because Super is, like, the main thing going on, but still, definitely check his channel out. He's definitely growing his audience. I mean, the last time I checked him out, he had 50 subs, now he's already nearing 100. He's at the thing in the early 80s, so... Definitely growing. Um, I mean, we all have to start from somewhere, so yeah. But um, let's get into the episode, my boys. So um, I'm, I'm gonna need to just drink some water because I know my throat's gonna be fucking tired after all this. Okay. All right. So check this out. So the first fight we had in this episode was the Goku Ribrian fight. So Goku actually said he wished to meet someone stronger. So if you haven't watched the episode already, essentially he got that wish. Okay, he he got that wish. So, Ribrian uses glow stick energy, don't ask me, like, why, I don't know, but the print, essentially, um, uh, Hellas, I think if, that's her name, like the Egyptian go looking god of destruction, or something like that, if she's the angel, or whatever, but uh, she's probably, yeah, the Egyptian god of destruction from Universe 2, if I'm not mistaken, had a pink glow stick, and then the other two members that had Sailor Moon transformations that I'm pretty sure who got eliminated, or not, I don't know, I don't really remember. They both pulled out glow sticks and they were pink and they started shooting energy toward Ribian and turned to Super Ribian, which essentially just Ribian wins. Um, but it was it was pretty cool. She made a, like into a heart and then an egg and stuff. And it, was, it was a nice transformation. So after dodging Super Ribian's attack, which were essentially heart arrows and even a giant heart, Super Saiyan Blue Goku knocks Super Ribian out of the sky and out of her transformation and sends her near the observant Jiren. He's essentially observing the fight between Goku and Super Ribian. And this was really, really epic, but it was also kind of funny because Jiren was just silent. Like, he was just looking like, he was just looking at the fight and Ribrian was talking to him about like, oh, oh, do you like me? Do you love me? Oh, let me check. Let me see. And maybe your opinion will change. Like, it was so hilarious. Everything she was saying, he was just silent. But, um, after that, Belmont, Belmont, Bel Belmont, Belmont, whatever you want to call him, the Universe 11 God of Destruction, telepathically tells Jiren to crush Goku and from there on in, it gets epic from this from the rest of this episode to the next episode. So the Goku versus Jiren fight. Let's go, guys. So Jiren powering up was crazy because everyone felt that intense energy. And keep in mind, he didn't actually have a form. He was staying in his base form the entire time. Look, he was staying in his base form the entire time. He was still kicking Goku's ass. So and speaking of kicking Goku's ass, he tanks Goku's attacks. The Kamehameha doesn't work. Super Saiyan, no. Super Saiyan God, no. Super Saiyan Blue. No, and even Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken times 20. That's right, even that doesn't work. So, essentially, in addition to tanking Goku's attacks, Jiren was, was just basically ragdolling Goku around the entire uh, arena. He was just throwing him around like a, like a freaking doll. It was, it was crazy, but it was, at the same time, it was just like, geez, like, this guy, this guy is like so powerful. And he nearly got eliminated, like, Goku nearly got eliminated because of that. Um, but again, as a testament to Jiren's power, he was so fast that he hit Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken times 20 Goku multiple times in the blink of an eye. You just see Goku fall over and he just has all these little like marks and wounds on his chest and, and Jiren hit him. Crazy. So because none of his like techniques are working, Goku decides to use a spirit bomb and many of his 
Um, crewmates get, well, not crewmates, sorry, teammates give him energy. I'm thinking one piece. The teammates give him energy. Even Frieza and uh, the Peanut Gallery Trio, which is what I call them, uh, aka Krillin, Tien, and Master Roshi. Um, I don't know how, like, they're outside the tournament and they're still participating, but, you know, it is what it is. They let it, like, the people that are in charge, Zeno and the uh, Master Priest let it slide, or, sorry, Grand Priest, uh, look, Grand Priest let it slide, so it is what it is. So, but still, folks, still, Jiren pushes the super, uh, not, sorry, not super, but the spirit bomb that he, that Goku made, not only his energy, but a lot of other teammates energy as well he pushes it back at it and that's the end of this episode but it is continuing to the next one rating wise i would give this episode a five out of five because it got amazing fights goku versus rubian although it was short is very nice and goku versus jiren especially because it also showed how much of a, a powerhouse excuse me jiren is and it was elaborated on more in the next episode but for this episode just this episode we saw jiren is essentially very very powerful very very powerful okay just Oh my god, just amazingly powerful. Um, and we also got a new ending song as well, which was really cool. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, as I already said, there's the Discord for Dragon Ball Super and Anime Insights channel in the description below. So you want to check those out as well, go right ahead. It's up to you. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm about to get into part 2, episode 110. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on episode 109, part 1 of the Dragon Ball Super 1 hour special in the comments down below. Um, what you think of Goku's Fire Rubian? Um, how, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how crazy did it get when Jiren was powering up and was just bodying Goku and all of his attacks were not working? And what did you think of the beam struggle that was happening only in this episode, of course, with Goku trying, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure, Super Saiyan Blue Goku with Kao Ken times 20 and Jiren throwing the freaking spirit bomb back and forth like a volleyball match. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if I didn't say that already. Um, if you have any questions, theories, thoughts, suggestions, comments, or concerns, let me know about those in the comments down below as well. And as always, until next time, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Have some related and or random videos here if you want to check them out as well. But um, anyway, until next time, I'll see y'all later.